Our story starts in 1936. Our hero, Earl Tupper, had just gone bankrupt after trying to sell his, less than useful, inventions. However, Earl was able to get a job in a plastic factory to support his wife and child. After only a year, Tupper was able to buy some plastic and plastic molds to fuel his inventive nature. Tupper began making small containers for soap and cigarettes, and selling them. He called his new company Tupper Plastics. During World War II, Tupper was approached by a salesman working for the company DuPont. The man sold Tupper some polyethylene, a plastic known for its strength. Tupper had trouble molding his new plastic, because DuPont had added ingredients to the plastic that would make it harden faster. Tupper asked the salesman to get him some pure polyethylene beads. The man was hesitant, but he got the beads for his customer. After a lot of trial and error, Tupper invented the first Tupper wearable. He had trouble selling his new product. So Topper tried to bundle his product with cigarettes. Eventually Topperware made it into department stores in the area, but the product still wasn't selling well. That was when our hero, Earl Topper, discovered Brownie Wise. Brownie Wise was a single mother with no business experience, but she helped change Topperware into an enterprise. The two of the brainstormed a way that they could reach the people to sell their product. They eventually came up with the idea of house parties to show off the product. Wise held a few house parties, and they were a huge success. Each one sold huge quantities of Tupperware. Tupper was happy. For once in his career, his products were actually selling. The two were a great match for one another. Tupper would stay in his lab inventing new types of Tupperware, and Wise would sell the new types of the Tupperware. The two seemed unstoppable, however. Everything changed when an article was released that stated that Wise was the reason for Tupperware's success. Tupper became jealous of Wise. He felt as though he was getting no recognition for the product he owned. He began to hate the woman who made his product famous. I am sorry. Due to technical difficulties, I am the new narrator. Tupper fired Wise without giving her any reason. This is when the Rexall Drug Company approached Tupper and offered him $16 million for his product. Tupper decided to sell his company to live the life that he had always wanted to. With his newfound fortune, Tupper divorced his wife, bought an island in Central America, and moved to Costa Rica. There Tupper gave up his U.S. citizenship to avoid taxes. Tupper lived the rest of his days in Costa Rica as an inventor. None of his other inventions ever became as famous or as important as Tupperware. Earl Tupper is a man that will live in American history as the inventor of the common household object. Despite this, people claim that his true greatest invention was the idea of selling products with house parties. Today over 19 million companies use Tupper's idea to sell their products. He undoubtedly changed America.